How's it going guys? Happy New Year 2020 is finally over. So anyways guys, for those of you that don't know me, I am Mighty Macca and this is my wonderful channel where I can I play a bunch of games and a bunch of news videos. All that kind of stuff. Anyways, I know this video is kind of late, New Year's is done, all that stuff. We've already started 2021. I decided to take a little break from at least uploading a video and from my last upload from this one is actually two weeks ago but as you know uh, for some of my subs and people on my channel they know I've been basically streaming Minecraft for the past two weeks anyways. Anyways guys this video I've really actually wanted to talk about the journey 2020 has brought my whole channel and honestly it started when COVID really hit so that was basically when I decided to come back to YouTube start making videos and honestly where I started from when COVID hit I was sitting around 800 subscribers and now I'm all the way at 4,500 and going on. So hopefully I continue to grow my channel. So with COVID hitting the world honestly and it hasn't been fun at all, it's been really bad for everyone and I'm sorry to anyone that has uh, had any bad experiences with COVID that have had to live with in 2020. It has not been the best year at all, it's been completely horrible. But you know, some some good at least came out of it, and for me, it actually um, it made me realize that uh, I really love doing YouTube videos and you know playing video games for you guys and posting videos, all that kind of stuff, and I, I really enjoyed it. And with this, and since like my schooling and stuff was online, I could like have more time to game, you know. Anyways, from my journey from 800 subscribers, basically what I started doing was news videos on games and basically just other video game, I don't know, videos that were like kind of like a hot topic at that time. So for me, I think when I did start, I started out with a lot of Call of Duty and Warzone videos for news type things as well because you know, when you're a small YouTuber like me, you need to have something that will like gain someone's attention and it's sad to say but really clickbait is honestly the only way for a small youtuber to try and grow or get increased at this point i'm not saying it's the only way but at least for my channel that's how i had a uh, small little niche and how it kind of started and then i could start actually doing uh gameplay videos where people actually like watching me game so honestly we're gonna start talking about the journey with the games that we played so it was call of duty but then i, I don't that didn't really that wasn't a big hit the first real big hit on my channel was honestly Warface Breakout. Yes, it is the game that we don't name, and some of you guys know that I have said this. It's kind of a meme right now, honestly. But yeah, I really enjoyed Warface Breakout. It really grew my channel quite a bit. And the sad part is, I really enjoyed the game. I loved it. I spent, like, quite a bit of money into it, like, for what I can afford. And, um, yeah, it... In the game right now, it's uh, it's kind of kind of nowhere. It's kind of a little bit busted. Will it still grow or become big? I, I don't know, but I don't know. It hurts, man. It hurts. So I honestly think with Warface Breakout, that's actually what kind of hit me to 1,000 or 2,000 subs. I kind of grew that 1,000 pretty quick because I was making news videos about Warface Breakout update videos and gameplay videos because I was actually pretty good at the game, I'm not gonna lie. And for those of you guys that actually knew that I played Warface Breakout and that was the reason that you guys subscribed and you're watching this part right now, I shout you guys out right now, so thank you. And honestly, I wouldn't be here uh, at this point in my YouTube channel with 4,500 subscribers, basically if none of you guys subscribe, so I appreciate each and every one of you. Following that, the next game that kind of took place on my channel was a bit of Rogue Company. So now, this was actually fun on my channel, let me talk about this. Rogue Company is a great game and at this stage on in my channel and in the year, it was in a pre-alpha mode or something like that where you needed a code to play the game. It wasn't free on the... Um, on the stores at all or you could download it anywhere no you needed to receive a code from an email from signing up for it and all that stuff so what did i do i thought hey shit um i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a bunch of these codes because i found a website where you can buy them for a decent amount of money which honestly i probably ended up spending around 200 dollars to buy i don't know maybe around uh, 100 codes or something like that maybe a little more 
And I did these little community streams where I could actually give it away to the viewers that were actually subscribed, followed, all this and that, reached out on Twitter, showing me proof, all that stuff. And that was a lot of fun, but honestly, when I look at it now, it was kind of a bad way to probably do it on my channel because honestly, I don't want to sound rude, but most of those people that came to the streams were code diggers, that's what I'm calling them, because that's what they did. They took a code, next you know, bam, they gone, they gone, you don't see your dad no more, he went to get some milk and he didn't come back. Yeah, that's just a joke, but hey, that's how it honestly was, and it was like a little heartbreaking because I've spent quite a lot of money on my channel and into my channel for things like this where I wanted to give uh, something back to the people. And hey, I'm in college, you know, people in college struggle with money, I ain't rich, uh-uh. Anyways, apart from the streams, I did a bunch of news videos with Road Company as well, and I actually did my channel uh, quite a bit as well, which probably got to me around 3,000 subscribers. Now, with that being said, moving on to probably the third game that really blew up my channel is actually the biggest spike I had in 2020, which was Hyperscape. Hyperscape honestly changed my channel in a way. It was like the first game that people really liked watching me play in like I haven't ever felt that at all and I was at Hyperscape yeah like I've just lost words but Hyperscape I loved the game it was new it was fresh it was a battle royale it was a hundred play battle royale it had solos trios had a different game modes every now and then when they could release it and uh, that's with all that with the videos the streams like the streams were probably the funnest on hyperscape with uh people watching me play they're like how oh, you so good how oh, you so good and all that stuff and like i really enjoyed it that was probably the the peak of my 2020 moment with streams anyways unfortunately the developers with hyperscape uh they did some wrong choices and the game ended up dying pretty quick so no one really ended up playing it anymore it was a really small viewer base and all that stuff and it just kind of kind of died away and I know right now they're still trying to build up the game and stuff but I'm not sure I'm not sure how it is and that's the funny thing is that's what happened with Warface Breakout Warface Breakout died which I think I said after that long story short um, Hypescape honestly probably got me up to around 4,000 subs or just a little bit shy off of it as well as moving on with that, I did a little bit more Rogue Company and people really still enjoyed some of my gameplay and the news videos that I did. And then after that, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War got released. We got some early gameplay and uh, you know, that's what happened. I'm a big Call of Duty dude, so I really love it. And that is where I'm honestly at now, where I'm still figuring out some Call of Duty videos as well as other news videos for different types of games. As well as Minecraft, I'm a, I'm really into Minecraft now as well as many other YouTubers and honestly it's probably the biggest game still on YouTube. It's grown so much incredibly with, the, with how 2020 went and it's probably the number one game, at least to me from what I've seen. So I'm actually going to do a lot more Minecraft this year as you've already known in the streams that I'm actually doing a bunch of streams playing Minecraft. So guys, I basically said my journey with like as short as I could possibly say it for 2020 with this. Um, nothing about, you know, my personal life or anything, just basically on my YouTube and stuff. And the goal was honestly to try and hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of uh, 2020, but I unfortunately didn't hit that, but I still got very far and further than I've ever thought I could actually reach. And I just want to thank all you guys for that as well. But um, now I want to move on to new goals with 2021 and I know this video is a bit late again but hey I don't care people need a little break every now and then and I was just relaxing and um, but yeah one of my goals for this year is I want to reach 10,000 subscribers now that might look pretty far for others to see and believe and honestly but hey you got to be positive this is my goal firstly I want to hit 5,000 of course but I'm already like almost there but by the end of the year, I'm hoping to hit 10,000 subscribers and that would be absolutely awesome. Again guys, none of this would be possible without of, without of your guys' support and uh, with all my videos and coming into streams, building this community up. I've really enjoyed it and I love making videos for you guys, especially with What's Hot, all this news videos, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys again. Now, I think that's the end of the video. So guys, if you have watched this entire video up until now, comment down 2021 and 
that way I'll know that you guys have watched up with me now and if you have you guys are absolutely incredible and awesome so guys make sure to smash that like button and subscribe I'll see you guys again next time either in streams or other videos I'm looking forward to seeing your comments and some feedback or whatever anyways guys have a good 2021 peace